guys, Platoon Squid 2 here, and I'll be doing my top 10 Wii games. Well, for number 10, let's start off with the two games that came with your Wii. Or maybe you got the new Super Mario Bros. Wii one, but that doesn't count. So, Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort at number 10. So, first off, this game is actually pretty good for a sports knockoff. And released for the Wii. Well, Wii Sports Resort was better, but but Wii Sports Resort is still included. But this game overall is a little... Overall is pretty good. So now let's go to... Number 9. What could number 9 be? Super Mario Galaxy. This was the second Wii game I got. And I cannot wait to play this and put it in my Wii. This game was awesome. Awesome. I, def I definitely recommend you get this game if you do not already have it. It is a must-have for Wii collections. Number 8 is Mario Party 8. This game, overall, is not... Most people didn't like it, but I like it because in Mario Party 9, they changed the story of to, like, mini stars, and you're in, like, a boat or car or something like that. And I think it's just not fair, and I like this. Like, everyone just goes all over the place. Like, you're just scattered around. That, that was way better. I didn't like the other way. So yeah. Now for seven. Now this is the first time for two Wii games. Yeah, I know my new Super Mario Bros. Wii one is awkward, but Mario Kart Wii and new Super Mario Bros. Wii at number seven. Mario Kart Wii is a good Mario Kart game, which made me love the series. But, overall, it isn't the best Mario Kart. Double Dash was a slightly better. New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Mario Kart Wii. Do not, do, do not ask me why there's Mario Kart 8 there. Number six is Smash Bros. Brawl, but right now I do not have it with me because my friend is borrowing it. Also, number five is Twilight Princess, but right now, again, I do not have it because this, but this time, my, I'm getting it fixed because the disc gets discrete error and it doesn't work, so I'm getting it resurfaced right now. Number four is, is, it's a Zelda game, the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. This game is awesome. Better than Twilight Princess because now it's not, it, the characters look a little bit more real, but it's not that dark as Twilight Princess. Although Twilight Princess was good, but since of Majora's Mask, they tried way too hard to make it, make Twilight Princess dark. But this game, it's, the quality's better. It looks like, well, it is the 25th anniversary, like, right there. 25th anniversary with the music CD. The music CD was actually good, but yeah, other than that, it's a pretty good game. Better than Twilight Princess. You should actually get this game. This game is awesome. They should be at least in Nintendo Selects too. Which Twilight Princess was. Number three Mario Strikers Charge. At first, I thought this game would be a knockoff of a Mario Sports game, but actually, when I play it, I actually loved it. This is probably one of my f most favorite Mario games, Mario, like, Mario, like, sports games ever. Super Mario Strikers was good, but this one made it funner. This is a must-have game, and it's very for like, 20 bucks.
number two. Getting to like the last ones here. Oh yeah, by the way, and also with tied with Mario Strikers Charge is Super Paper Mario. This game is awesome too because like since from uh What's the game paper one? Mario, uh, paper Mario, the thousand year door. This one you can. It's in 3D and stuff. Blah blah blah. That's not the main thing that you can play with Peach, Bowser, and Luigi. That's a good thing, because I always wanted to play with Luigi or Bowser or Peach. But you can also play with Mario, obviously. But the you don't have to go into battle mode just to kill an enemy. Only in this game, you can just kill him like in Super Mario Bros. That's the thing I like about. It. Okay, moving on to number two. That was actually three. I just said two for no reason. Number two. What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? Pikmin two. I have a game. I when I when I got Luigi Mansion for the GameCube, I I went to options to turn up my screen brightness, and then I saw view a Pikmin movie. So I like that movie. So then I decided to get Pikmin, and after three years, I finally beat it, but then I could never find a actual title for Pikmin 2, because it was so expensive, like 50 bucks. But now, my friend let me borrow this for my Pikmin, so I can play this. I'm still playing this as of Super Paper Mario, I actually beat that, So, but I just still have it, because of the arcade mode. That arcade mode is awesome. Also in Super Mario Bros. Wii, I'm still playing that. And Super, and Super Mario Galaxy, that game is okay. But although Pikmin 2, this game is awesome. If you, if you don't, if you don't, if you never played a Pikmin game, you should definitely get this one, the first one, or if you have a Wii U, get Pikmin 3. Because the Pikmin series is overall awesome. Moving on to number one. What could it be? I kind of probably spoiled it already. But Super Mario Galaxy 2. This game it had a huge improvement from the first one. The sky is fixed. It is no longer dark. It's no longer dark as a universe and unique with Yoshi finally being in a 3D Mario game. 3D World does not count because that came after. But this one with Yoshi power, finally having Yoshi power-ups, as of like, new power-ups like Unique Cloud Mario, Rock Mario, Blimp Yoshi, and Dashing with Yoshi. And that thing looks funny when you dash with Yoshi, he's like, That's just so funny. So that concludes my top 10 Wii games. See you.